Hey Scott, what's up? <laughs> nice to meet you. So, uh, my name is Hervé Atia. Once again, uh, I travel to uh, Canada, British Columbia to visit the First Blood filming location and finally uh, to complete the quest. So, in fact, I came here um, six months ago and uh, I spotted uh, the place, but you found it. So uh, my dad and I decided to put a boat in the water and we went up to where Hervey was. And then uh, when we're up there, I realized that uh, if you look at this, this little mountain here, it all lines up with the riverbank. So what I basically did is, uh, well, my dad and I, we came down here and we just kept going until it lined up. And then, uh, yeah, I looked over, it's a, it's a pretty desolate area. Walked up and around the back there, uh, we realized we found the field and then the road and and uh, yeah, and then I got in touch with Airbay right away to, to let them know. So we're gonna we're gonna show you uh, around. So let's start by the Belmore home. So the Delmore home was here. Now everything uh, disappeared. So look what I found. Uh, it looks like an old um, Coca-Cola can. Original test. All the tech, radio, cassette. Yeah, yeah the burner uh, back on the other side of this. Yeah, it's completely left over. You can see it's been charred from the uh, from the fire. I mean, it's back there. There's a natural stove back there. Uh, thank you, Scott, for uh, your hard work. So what do we have inside? It's the outhouse. Unbelievable. This was the toilet of Delmore Berry family. So we can see uh, actually the all um, of the hook here where um, the widow was hanging her clothes. What time will he be back? He died. What? Died last summer. Died how? Cancer. Brought it back from man. All that orange stuff, they spread it around. Cut him down to nothing. I could lift him off the sheep. In fact, Stallone, uh was standing here and the Delmore widow was uh, at your spot. Actually, uh, the weather is not with us, but Scott, uh, you went uh, one month ago and you took some great shots of the Golden Bear uh, over there. We can see the Golden Bear. There is a fire pit here at the same spot where our salon uh, throw is uh, his address book. So maybe we can find something. Do uh. you have your, your Swiss knife with you? Ah, that's what I'm talking about. This. Let's dig, uh, let's dig inside the fire pit. Hey, look what I found. The salon address book. Not kidding. Dungeon Rambo, Dunford, Westmore, Bronson, Ortega! A soldier boy! A soldier boy! So I'm gonna call uh, John Rambo. The number is 604 8 9 2 0 2 1 Hello? Hey, John G! What's up? Ah, hey, good news! Uh, we finally uh, found the Delmore property. The quest is over. Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! It wasn't my war! You asked me, I didn't ask you! And I did what I had to do to win, but somebody wouldn't let us win! This is uh, the cabin uh, that you see 
when uh, Rambo is uh, walking down the road. Okay, this is the end. I hope you uh, enjoy the movie. Today the weather was not with us. This is a tough cloud uh, weather. So uh, see you in a bit and uh, take care. got a call from my agent. It was uh, late on a Saturday afternoon. The good part is they want you to play Colonel Troutman. That's the good part. The second part, they want you to start Monday. Richard arrived during the day. He flew up from Los Angeles. That night he was shooting. And he said, Ted, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where this character is going. You gotta just feed me line by line. And just how and where the former Green Beret came into possession of the weapons with which he allegedly killed one deputy sheriff and tried to kill six others. Only their skill training and police enforcement techniques saved their lives. And word now is... So this is the best place to, uh, to remember uh, the actor Richard Crenna when he appears for the first time in a movie called Blood because he, he was just standing right there. Never possessed God in heaven to make a man like Rambo. God didn't make Rambo. I made him. Who the hell are you? Sam Trotman. Colonel Samuel Trotman. Over. Anything? He took a radio off of one of my deputies. And he has to be listening. If I was in his position, I'd try to pick up some information. Of course he's listening. He's not going to break radio silence. No. Covey leader calling Raven. Covey leader to identify Baker T. Rambo. Mesner. Ortega, Coletta, Jorgensen, Danforth, Barry. Baker team, they're all dead, sir. Not Delmore Barry. He made it. Barry's gone too, sir. How? Got himself killed in now. Didn't even know it. Cancer ate him down to the bone. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I'm the last one, sir. It's good to hear your voice, Johnny. It's been a long time. They drew first blood. <laughs>